A wonderful guest who is experienced in mother and daughter relationships. We're going to dig in and talk about how those relationships actually impact the rest of our lives and how we can actually be better communicators and be open. And here in the studio, I am truly blessed not just to have a wonderful guest, but I actually got my mother and my grandmother to come sit in the studio with me. So that is such a blessing. Not a blessing that they're just here, but they're present and alive because it's actually four generations of us, and that is something that is awesome to be alive and to be present and to be this close to each other in the same vicinity. So tonight... We are definitely talking about mother-daughter relationships. So I want everybody to grab their mother, get on the line, and listen tonight. It doesn't matter what generation you're in because you can still be blessed. It's never too late to actually have a better relationship. Tonight we're going to be talking about our teens, how to actually be, not necessarily be a better parent, but to actually be a mother. And I think sometimes we get that confused. We want to be the woman, to be that image, to be that example that she has to follow. And saying that, I found some awesome scriptures that talk about a mother. Um, actually, Proverbs 1 and 8, and that's part B, it says, Do not forsake your mother's teachings. And it follows up in Proverbs 6 and 20 and says that exact same thing. So the thing is, it is a teaching, and not just by words, it's a teaching by example. I can um, remember some things when I was a child, and I know my mother's going to say, yes, she remembers them too. <laughs> but I, I, I want to so much be like my mother. I used to dress up in her clothes every day and leave out the house looking like her. So, I mean, I was like her little mini me, and my mom was like, please get yourself out my clothes. <laughs> but it was like one of those experiences. So we have to remember that our kids don't just follow what we say. They follow the image that we put out for them, too. So in the world that we live in now, and social media and images are so prevalent, and we wonder how these kids get to dress and act and behave the way they do, it's because they're following the example of their mother. They begin to still try to dress like they're young and like they're not a parent. So we have to be careful on that image that we put forth because they actually follow the example that we teach. Um, then Deuteronomy 4 and 9, it, it actually had a little bit more meat in there. And it says, be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as you long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children and to their children. So it's about a generation that's carrying it on. And it's more than just carrying on traditions. We're good about carrying on traditions, about passing down the recipe of that great peach cobbler, of that great cake. But we have to pass along some life lessons as well. Um, when we are mothers, we have to remember, we have to teach them some simple, basic things. And I, I like when we're going to get into your course, um, of course, we have to hear a few songs, but we're going to get into your course and actually talk about the things that evolve in a relationship between mother and daughter. And what I want people to understand tonight, even if you've already married, even if you've already grown, this might be a place <laughs> Because I don't think she has an age cap on her course of momming and me. So you you might need to go, even as a grown woman, you might be as grown as I am, and you get to go with your lovely mama, then your mama's mama, and then you get to actually expand and dig a little bit deeper into your relationship. And actually, you'll find out some things about each other, and then you'll find out some things about yourself. Because I know a lot of times you have people out there who try to be the actual opposite of their parents. Because they go like, when I grow up, I'm not going to ever say this. I'm not going to ever do this. I'm going to allow my children to do the total opposite of everything I've learned. And then the problem is you miss some of the fundamentals because you're trying to pour in sometimes some of the materialistic things that we've gotten into. And we miss that foundation of teachings that have went on. So I encourage you all, grab a woman that you know. Even if she's your surrogate mother or your fill-in mother, because I know there are some of us who are not blessed to have our parents with us. Some of us who never got a chance to know our mothers, but there is somebody who is in the fill-in position. And tonight, we want to know how to pour in to those different entities and lives so we're not missing the next generation coming up. Because it says, teach the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. 
the song that actually came on before we came on air for all of you all that were here at 8 o'clock on the dot to begin the relationship hour was actually Celine Dion. And it was a mother's prayer. And it was actually when a prayer about the things, praying for actually the mother so that she can actually get the strength that she needs to, because that's a job. That's a job. Anybody know having, and not just a child, but having a daughter, and then when they get to be teenage, whoo, I know my mama can say that. She probably wanted to put me out of the house by the time teenage needs to reach the round. <laughs> so that's a, a different type of creature altogether that, that teenage um, this brings on. So, we're coming up next, we're going to hear from Jim Brickman. It's about a mother's love. And I think that's some of the th times, sometimes we miss out on that actual love of a mother. So, for you all who haven't and don't understand that, listen to this song. Jim Brickman speaks on it. Then, Josh Groban, it says, you raise me up. And the thing is, that that's really what a mother is. She's somebody when you're down, an ear to listen to, somebody to support you, somebody to raise you, no matter what is going on in your life. So these wonderful women came out to support me and show up for this show tonight. So we are here to talk about that mother-daughter relationship. And after we hear these two songs, we're going to get into a discussion to find out the passions, the why, and the how, what the Mummy and Me course is about from Danielle Boussier. <laughs> <laughs> 